Hi, welcome back. It's uh, Tony Amore here, I'm back with Richard Coles, my uh, filmmaker friend. Uh, welcome back. And um, we're at, uh, today we're at Hector Garcia's, which is in um, Newcastle upon Tyne. No, I mean Newcastle on the line. Okay. And this is a, a documentary that I did, Rich. And it's called It's a Mad World. I told people about it. Um, this is my friend Dave, and he was uh, the, uh, the, BBC the BBC filmed me uh, for about uh, three and a half months. And uh, so, so this is a, a documentary that I did. Um, so it's good to be back. And um, it's a pain in my back for this nationally. The only answer was to get the ambulance out and take me into hospital. Oh, this is, that was a change in yeah. my life. That was in, on Saturday, May the 6th, 5th, 1973. When it was a hot summer that year, and that was a change in my life. The direction of my life changed. Um, I'd had three overdoses by that time. Oh. And uh, yeah. I just deteriorated my life. Is Martin Crowe's film, Martin X and Tom Martin, BBC. Um, Mum and Dad members said they're not here anymore, but they said uh, we would have had to get rid of you sooner or later because of the, the digression I'd made. Uh, and I left at 7 o'clock at night in the ambulance. And that was changed, really. 16, Martin. So and this is on Comic Relief, this year. So this is on Comcore. It's, it's, it's a mad, it's a mad world. <laughs> Dave is brilliant on the documentary. And this is um, coming up to the American countries, I think. Oh no, this is um, uh, this is Jim. Jim on the documentary. It's, it's a mad world. <laughs> and he, he, uh, he ripped that off after the documentary, uh, Wanda went mad with him, uh, his, his, his wife, his girlfriend wife. Uh-uh. I've had my own property nearly all my life. Uh, when I started having mental health problems, I'd get my house on because I couldn't live on my own. Frightened at night. Insecure. Couldn't handle daily living. What everybody takes for granted. Jim's got his hands full. When they can't stop collecting. No oh, thanks, Dad. Love her. Absolutely love her. Laurel and Hardy. I want those. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. Oh, I like that. Flex is not the word. Broaden is more like. When did you live in California? She was a teacher six years ago. Finally returned to Stanley. We came home, and within four months, my husband died. And that was very, very sad for me. Very sad, because I've known him since I was 12 years old. That was Wanda when she was younger. Not so many years ago. She's still a lovely woman. If she puts her effort into getting tarted up. <laughs> Is that a Wanda you wish you'd sort of know? No, I've got the one. This is a Martin X's film. It's been we filmed this on this documentary. Obviously, Richard Coles is filming me here. And Mr. Garcia is in Newcastle. In the line. Uh, I enjoy coming to New I enjoy coming to it's one of my favourite bars. I mean, I, I come here most of the time. I like talking to the staff. I like talking to Sam, who's the owner. And uh, this is Claire here coming to me flat. Claire, I keep in touch with Claire at the BBC. And, um, um, Tony? Tony's not answering his door. Worried about his well-being, a neighbour lets us in. What's the name of the music, Rich? Tony is Clara Martin. Is he? Dizzy. Yeah, who is it? Bye. Oh, 
Sorry. You alright? No, I was. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Making me dizzy. Oh, here I am. Oh, yeah, am. <laughs> oh we had the trogs on earlier. Yeah. Probably really perfect. I don't really get paranoid. Why is she paranoid? Just... <laughs> exactly. I'm just going to go along a bit now, right? Uh, and then, um, so we got along, and then just talk a bit more about, uh, a bit about me, shall we? So I, I, um, um, I'm tiny. So I, 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 I was going to audition for Stoke's Top Talent this year, uh, but I, I didn't uh, audition for it. Uh, but uh, I'm auditioning, if you can see here, uh, for Britain's Got Talent Series Five. So, and that's at the end of the year. So. And I've had uh, this poem published uh, nationally from coast to coast, and uh, it's uh, a book. Uh, I don't know if it's book or book. Say book or book. Say book or book. Rich. Say look or look. Look. Say took or talk. Took. Why do you say Stalingrad? <laughs> <In> the Vatican. <laughs> so this is a uh, poem I've had published. You see, that's my name. Can you read it out? I uh, don't want to read it out, not really. <laughs> yeah. Um, a sensual, lucent, poetic boat shone multicoloured upon the profound, rippling, deep rooted lake. I dipped my delicate, sweet oars into the exotic, blue, pink charmed coral waters amorously, sumptuously, voluptuously in silent moonlight. And uh, I'll, I'll, that, that's, uh, and it goes on to say that near the cliff. Buttery crystal glass diamond city, its ancient Greek rose scented temple, statues, moss marble columns, blushing rainbow blush and orange blush, amongst walnut groves and fallen candy bombs, and the seashell sonorous white fruit palm isles of bamboo taba cuckoo, the tropic cold star stream boat, sailed over the idle silent flowery lake in a Spencerian fairyland, visionary fantasy. Then drank the soul and name of feverish beauty and cosmic love, Tony Amore. So that's the book, uh, which is around the country from coast to coast, which is a TV programme as well. And then I was in the paper. We're running out of time because we're closing soon. <laughs> this is Hector Garcia's anyway. And Sam, uh, Sam Kim, the owners. Uh, Kim and Sam. And um, so, well, Katie's on today. And this is me and my friend Richard. Uh, this is me, 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 me and uh, my friend uh, Jeffrey Clamp. You can see the date when I was there. Set no, this is recently. And this is uh, again going back to the clubhouse. This is um, this is me at the clubhouse, and this is Sue Preston. This is a documentary. It's a mad world. Yeah. This is Sue Preston, manager at the clubhouse. She's she's quite a lot to think about there. I'm sorry, kind yeah. of. Ta da! <laughs> right, so that's a smile for you today. I booked an holiday. Going Espana, Spain, Malaga. If expressions uh, can paint a thousand words, then look at mine, you know, because I feel pretty damn good now, definitely. <laughs> So yeah, so um, and then uh, what else am I doing? Uh, what else have I done? I went to Rome last year, not Rome around the garden. I went to see the doctor the other day, Rich, and the doctor said, uh, open your mouth and say, oh. And I said, why? He says, your parish just died. <laughs> <laughs> so. so yeah, so what else have I got? Uh, Sam told me that joke here. No, he didn't. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I enjoy coming here. Um, I enjoy coming to Hector Garcia's. It's uh, one of my fav favourite places to come. And uh, this is—I um, just want to show this as well, which is um, a Spanish guitar album, which I've done classical guitar. And it's good to be back with you again, Rich and uh, Phil. Me again. So this is a classical guitar album that I did. My own music, Spanish music that I've done. And it's my own album, and uh, you can see that I've come quite a long way since um, Comic Relief. Since, um, I feel I've come a long way anyway since Clayton this morning, so it's, it's a long way down the road. That's my album anyway, Tequila Sunrise. Ah. Yes. You can get this in the shops in the Ukraine. Uh, Clayton Spa in the Ukraine. 
So it's sold all over the Ukraine, this is. So, right. yeah. It doesn't really. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Ukraine is in Russia, by the way. So they're all rushing around there. So that's my new album. Okay. So found in most stores in the Ukraine. So uh, that's it.